When adding or subtracting decimals, the most important thing to remember is that you must always align the decimal point of the two numbers that you are either adding or subtracting. If you don't do this, you'll be very prone to making an error because you'll misalign the place values of the two different numbers. Let's take a look at an example. We see in this example that 82.1 has one digit to the right of the decimal point, while 4.067 has three digits to the right of the decimal point. When we line up the decimal points, we see that 4.067 has two digits, the 6 and the 7, extending out to the right beyond the end of 82.1. We fill in these gaps with two trailing zeros following the 1, so that the number reads 82.100, as we see on this slide. Once we do this, we can do addition in the natural way that we've learned all along. The result is 86.167. We add the first column, 0 and 7, to get 7, the second column, 0 and 6, to get 6, the third column, 1 and 0, to get 1, the fourth column, 2 and 4, to get 6, and finally the 8. So again, the result is 86.167. Let's go on and look at a second example with subtraction. 100 minus 9.45. 100 has no digits after the decimal point. It's just an integer, 100 whereas 9.45 has two digits to the right of the decimal point, the 4 and the 5. Therefore, we're going to align the decimal points again, writing the 9 under the last 0 and 100. This will leave gaps to the right of the decimal point in 100, so we fill those in with two trailing zeros. Now we have 100.00 minus 9.45. Again, since we've aligned the decimal points and filled in the trailing zeros, we have enough information at this point to go ahead and do the subtraction as we normally would. When we do so, we'll see that the result is 90.55.